What is going on YouTube? It's your boy BT coming at you from It's BT's World. Uh, got another video on the Samsung Note 2. Uh, we're going to root this thing today. First of all, before I start the second video on this phone, we're going to go back to the first video which I shot super quick. Got the phone at like 5 o'clock. Had to be at a party at 6. Had like an hour. Needed to get my T-Mobile SIM in it and work in. That's why I did the SIM unlock video real quick. I forgot to thank the people responsible for that, which Al74 and all the good folks at XDA Developers uh, Forums. Google that stuff. It's also in the link of the first video. I'm sure I'll put in the link on the, in the comments below this one as well. Um, so props, mad props, mad love to those guys for doing the work, making it easy for people like me and you. So today we're going to get uh, Root. For those of you that don't know what Root is, Root is like administrator account on a Windows machine. If you want to install software, if you want to uh, modify anything in your OS, you know that the manufacturer or the carrier doesn't want you to do, you need root control. Um, it's just uh, their way of keeping you from hosing your device up so they don't have to support you. So once you get root control, you can hose it up as much as you want. Just don't plan on getting any support. Any of this stuff's going to void your warranty. There is ways to roll it back where they don't know if that you've done it, so you can get your warranty, uh, you know, covered if you have an issue down the road or whatever. But uh, just so you know, straight up up front, you're going to void your warranty by doing this procedure. I don't care, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. I want to be able to uh, use my phone the way I want to use it. So uh, let's uh, get started on root. First thing we need to do, we need to see uh, exactly what phone model you have. Um, if you go into settings and then you go into about device you're gonna see the model number there it is Samsung SGH I317 that's the AT&T version of the Note 2 okay so what you're gonna do then is go to uh, autoroot.chainfire.eu it's the CF Auto Root repository at the bottom of that page, you're going to find uh, like a spreadsheet with a bunch of different models numbers where you can download the appropriate uh, file for your device. So go ahead and download that file from autoroot.chainfire.eu. Once you have that, we'll go on to the next step. First thing we're going to do is shut the phone off. Power off the phone. Once again, we're doing this all live, so if we... Uh, screw up or whatever you're gonna see what happens but uh, alright phone is off now we're gonna put it in download mode what Samsung or whoever likes to call download mode to do that you're gonna hold down volume down your home button and your power button all at the same time okay so hold the three of those together boom warning custom OS can cause critical problems yeah we know blah 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 uh, if you want to continue, press the volume up. That's what we're going to do. Boom, phone's in download mode. Ready to go. Now you can go to that uh, zip file you downloaded from autoroot.chainfire.eu. Unzip that thing. Get all your files out. You're going to have three files in it. There's going to be Odin executable. There's going to be an Odin any file. And then there's going to be your CF autoroot file. Um, it's a tar or it's an MD5, so don't unzip that any further. You need that all in one. If you go further than that, um, you're gonna screw it up. So you just need those three files. Now I'm gonna grab my phone, go to the computer screen here for a second, and uh, there's the three files for my device. Okay, focus, focus, focus. We're gonna go ahead and run Odin, and we are gonna run it as administrator. That way it has full control over everything on this Windows machine. So we don't have any issues there. There we go, CF Auto Root. Okay, next thing we're going to do is connect our device. So, bear with me here. I'm going to connect the device. Boom, that's going to pop up a little yellow window right there on CF Auto Root. That's showing that the uh, phone is connected, okay. We're going to go down here to PDA. 
and we're going to find that file, that MD5 file that downloaded with the other parts. There it is, in the same directory where we started CF Auto Root Program. We're going to open that. Okay. You want to make sure that uh, repartition is not checked. Okay. That's very important. Do not repartition your phone. So now we have that selected. All we got to do is hit start, and it's going to do its thing. Let's zoom out here so we can uh, see what it does. Ready? Start. Reset. Everything's removed. Phone is rebooting. Sorry, folks. Hit the stop button on the uh, the machine there. Anyways, rebooting. Again. Should boot up normally. Unlock the phone. What we should have now, if you go into apps, super user SU. Right there. If you've got that super user SU application on your phone, you are rooted. Now you're ready to go to the next step. You can un install some uh, custom recoveries, custom ROMs, all kinds of stuff you can do now. Uh, run some applications that uh, maybe your provider doesn't want you to run like free Wi-Fi tether instead of uh, paying them for something twice uh, which is the way I look at it so uh, rooted Samsung Galaxy Note 2 AT&T version shout outs to XDA developers shout outs to Chainfire uh, he's the user on XDA. That's also his site where you're going to download the uh, the Odin and the proper file for your uh, device. So uh, shout out to those guys. Links in the bottom. Comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Like, you know. Bear with me. I'm not a pro. Just trying to help you guys out. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow or whenever I do the next video. Coming up next, next video is going to be... Uh, installing a custom recovery. We'll go into all that in the next one. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.